champions. Welcome to today's lesson. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Today we are doing lesson 7.4, finding unknown angles. For the most part, all of the information we will need for today's lesson is provided in the workbook. No need for a protractor. If there is, try your best to estimate, but as I've looked through this, I think they give you all the information you need to subtract or add to figure out what a missing angle is in a diagram. So with that being said, let's dive into our lesson. We have two learning objectives for today. Objective one, we will use addition or subtraction to find unknown angled measurements. And at the end, we'll solve some real world problems by finding unknown angle measures. So we've got a couple word problems at the end. I'll model through you with you to show you how we do those. So to start us off, I've crossed out the think, I've crossed out the engage. We're starting right at the learn here at page 213. This is going to be a little lengthy. I think it covers one or two pages of this problem, but what we're doing. In the diagram below, we have the angle AOC that is divided up into two non-overlapping. So they meet right at the line, but no overflow angles. We have AOB and BOC that form together to form AOC altogether. Okay. So this is looking at that same angle. We have angle AOB is equal to 30 degrees. We have that BOC is equal to 50 degrees. Now that we know the two parts, we can add them together to find the whole or the total. So if I add 30 plus 50 degrees, I get that the total angle is 80 degrees, or angle AOC equals 80 degrees. My little raccoon friend is saying that you can write the measure of the angle as M angle sign, then your AOC or your uh, point vertex point formula on there. Um, for this lesson, if you forget the M for measurement, um, I'm okay with that, but please draw the angle sign, label your letter, uh, label your angle appropriate with your middle uh, letter being your vertex, and then add or subtract, okay? So, two more problems. Here we have PXR which is a combination of PXQ and QXR. PX, PXQ is 45 degrees, QXR is 78 degrees. So if you add 45 plus 78, you get 123 degrees, okay? For number three, angle ABC, the full outside is a right angle. So it's telling us that through that, we know that it's 90 degrees. Okay, we know that DBA is 35 degrees and we need to figure out what CBD is. So if I do 90 minus the 35 that I know, that gives me my angle of 55 degrees. So we can either add if we know two parts to find the whole, or we can subtract if we know the whole and one part, okay? Uh, number four, another example, POQ is a straight angle. Straight angles are straight lines. And uh, ROQ is 52 degrees. We need to figure out what POR is. So again, subtracting 180 minus 52, which gives them 128 degrees. So I know this seems like it's going a little quickly. Just remember add. If you know both parts, or subtract if you know the total. Okay. 
And a lot of what they'll do for the subtraction is they'll give you either a right angle, a straight angle, or a full 360 degree circle. And you just need to subtract from those parts. So I wanna give you a moment to try. This is page 216, problem number one. Take a moment to pause the video and try. Good. So you have X, O, Y, which is this obtuse angle of 125 degrees. X, O, Y. Y, O, Z, its adjacent counterpart here, is another 15 degrees. Now we need to find the total measure of X, O, Z. Okay, so X, O, Z would be 125 degrees plus 15 degrees. We know both parts and we just need to figure out what our total is. So 125 plus 15 would be the 140 degrees. Angle X, O, Z equals 140 degrees. Found that by adding those up together, okay? Two more problems I want you to try on your own. Pause the video before Mr. Chambers explains what we do in about five seconds. All right, thank you for pausing the video and trying it on your own. If you're not, you're at least learning and following along with what Mr. Chambers is doing. Okay, so. Actually, I think the highlighter tool might be easier so I don't block out everything we know. The measure of angle TZV, TZV is 98 degrees. Well, that's our total one because that's the widest part of there. We need to figure out what angle TYU is. We know that UZV UZV is 56 degrees, so I have my total of 98. I know a part is 56. Total minus a part will give me the total, okay? Here it's saying that if I add the measure of angle Y plus 56 degrees would give me 98 degrees. So the opposite must be true, that 98 degrees minus 56 degrees 98 minus 56, 8 minus 6 is 2, 90 minus 50 is 40, 42 degrees, okay? Problem number three, the measure of fog, F-O-G, is 72 degrees. The measure of go, G-O-H, is 108 degrees. What can we say about FOH? Well, FOH, this bottom line here, we know that that is a straight angle because it equals 180 degrees. If I add 108 plus 72, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 70 is 80, 180, angle FOH, is a straight angle equal to 180 degrees, okay? Two more problems for you to try on your own. Problems four and five, find those measurements. You can pause the video. And we're back. So problem number four in each diagram, the angle COD is a straight angle. So we know that we're dealing with 180 degrees and we need to find the missing measurements. So problem A has COD and uh, one angle is 35 degrees. Angle B is unknown. So that will be 180 minus 35. 
Start with my ones place. I can't subtract zero minus five, so I must regroup. That becomes a seven, that becomes 10. 10 ones minus five ones is five. 70 minus 30 is 40. 100 minus zero is 100. So angle B equals 145 degrees, okay? For part B, COD is 180 degrees. We know two parts and need to find out the missing part, P. So because we know two parts, now we're subtracting 180 minus 25 plus 18. So add those up real quick, 25 plus 18, five plus eight is 13, 10 plus 20 is 30, plus 10 is 40. So all together, those two are 43. And now if I subtract 180 minus this 43, that will tell me what angle P is, okay? Again, I can't subtract three from zero, so I regroup. That becomes 70, that becomes 10. 10 minus three is seven. 70 minus 40 is 30, 137. So no protractor needed, just adding and subtracting from what they already tell us, okay? So number five, we have a rectangle, A, B, C, D. And we need to find the measure of angle X. Here, our little hedgehog friend is reminding us that each angle of a rectangle is a right angle, and a right angle is 90 degrees. So to solve this problem, I'm subtracting 90 degrees minus the 48 degrees that I know. Again, I can't subtract from zero. So I regroup, and that becomes 80, that becomes 10. 10 minus eight is two, 80 minus 40 is 40. Angle X equals 42 degrees, okay? All right, a few more things, examples. These are our word problems. So learn page 219. We have Shanti, she's making a paper clock for her project. The clock is a circle with three hands, the hour hand, the minute hand, and the second hand. Find the measure of angle AOB. So AOB would be the 67 plus 72. 67 plus 72, which gives us a total of 139 degrees. Shanti then turns the three hands of the clock to form a new angle. So this is separate. It is a new angle that we're looking at and we need to find the measure of X. Okay, so the angle stayed the same, but she changed where the second hand is. So now we're taking our total of 100 and, oh, we've got a total of 155 minus 123 to find x equals 32 degrees. It's modeled there on the page 219 for you, okay? So now you've got two word problems. I'm going to read them out loud, then you can pause the video or just watch Mr. Chambers do whatever he decides to do in those five seconds that you're working on those, and then we move on to your assignment page for today. So page 220, problem number one, Vijay, used a rectangular piece of cardboard and a triangular piece of cardboard to make a model of a house. The measure of the angle PTQ, PTQ is 35 degrees. What is the measure of angle PTS? PTS is what you need to figure out for problem number one. Problem number two, Miss Mitchell has a square piece of cloth. She wants to cut as shown to make the pattern. What is the measure of angle Y? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a moment to pause the video, work through this. All right, so thank you for pausing that video and working through this. 
if we work through problem number one, Vijay and his model house, finding the angle of PTS. Well, PTS is the combination of PTQ, which is 35 degrees, and STQ, which is 90 degrees. So if we just add those all up, five plus zero is five, 30 plus 90 is 120. So angle PTS equals 125 degrees, okay? Miss Mitchell folding the cloth, we have 83 degrees here and we need to figure out what Y is. What it's not telling us is that it's lying on a straight angle, a straight angle of 180 degrees. And now we can subtract that 83 degrees that we do know to find our unknown, okay? I can't subtract anything from zero, so I regroup. 80 becomes 70. My zero ones become 10 ones. 10 minus three is seven. Now I have 70 minus 80, I can't do that, so I need to regroup. This becomes 17 minus eight, which gives me 90. Okay, so angle Y equals 97 degrees, okay? All right, that wraps it up for today's lesson. That brings us into your assignment pages, page 221 and 222 in your math workbook for B. Looks like there's three questions on 221, three more questions on 222. When you get to the word problems, read through them carefully, figure out what they're asking for this lesson. No protractors needed, everything's on the page. Um, and as you're working through, remember you're either adding because you know two parts and need to figure out what the whole is, or you're subtracting because you know what the whole is, but you don't know what the unknown is, okay? So thank you again for tuning in for today's lesson. Stay awesome, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.